Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Taniva if this is your first time joining me and this is my studio. So today I am going to be chasing my favorite thing which is a really simple minimalistic sort of pour. So this is a little test canvas I did a while ago and I haven't had time to get back to it but it's just two colors. So this is black that I saved from drips and have repurposed. And then this is a white cloud mix. And um, I've kind of played around with a couple of different recipes and come up with my own Frankenstein. So um, I will bring you down. I'll show you the colors just so you can see consistencies and stuff like that. But the for the base color, I have several of these canvases that I'm going to be working on today. And this is a 24 by 48. And I um, didn't have quite enough drips left to do more than one canvas. So I added to that. So what I did is I um, have this really lovely blue black color that I was starting with. So I had I saved my drips from other pores. I strained them. I got the consistency right and I added a little more black. And what I found is because there was some metallics in there and the previous pores had had a lot of blue in it, it ended up with this really dark black blue kind of crushed velvety sort of look. So I, and I really love that. So what I did to add to that was I just mixed black and Modern Master Sapphire Blue and threw in a bunch of Floetrol and some water to get it to the right consistency. And then what I did is between my two buckets is I kind of poured them back and forth a little bit just to make sure that the color was consistent all the way through and that I would have enough for all of the canvases that I want to do today. So uh, I think that's it. I will bring you in and focus you on the canvas so you can see what's going on here. And yeah, let's pour. And thank you for joining along with me. Please ask any questions you have in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer everything I can. Okay, thank you. smooth base coat down and I'm gonna start layering my cup here okay so I hope you can see that Let's see I'm gonna start with black I've got my cloud mix and I'm just going to alternate
sure at first, but I'm really liking this. Um, I'm going to have to bring you in and show you from this way. I love this kind of swoopy swish thing that's going on here that I think is probably hard to see from that angle. Um, but I've, I've got a lot of really interesting stuff in here. I was thinking I was going to pour a little more um, something down the center, but I'm, I'm actually really liking this. Um, doing the dirty pour, I think, created a lot of these little, um, not really pearls, but these little speckles of white, and it has kind of a starry, milky way sort of feel going on. So, yeah, I think, I, I think I'm going to leave this one and maybe do a little bit different with the, uh, the next canvas. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit different approach with this one and I'm using a smaller cup and I'll probably do a couple of pours. But I'm also going to layer the cup a less dirty this time. So I'm going to try to be very careful about pouring layers in here. And I'm sorry, I'm probably not going to get this well on camera, but that's what I'm doing. It's still just the white and black. I don't think I'm going to fiddle with it anymore. I, I, think, 
think that's one of the hardest things about these really minimalist style pours is that it is so easy to want to keep moving things. Um, but I, I like this. I like the amount of negative space I have. It has a very um, ethereal sort of look to it. And that's really what I was going for and had envisioning. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to clean this up and we'll move on to the third. So I have one more of these big canvases prepped up and I'm going to do something very similar to the first two, but I am going to switch things up just a little bit. So I'm going to use a even smaller cup than I did last time because I think I'm still getting more turning than I really want to in the cup. And I am going to add just a hint of silver in. So I am going to get my base coat down and uh, I forgot to mention to make sure that your edges are painted. Uh, with these thinner paints, when this black paint rolls over a white canvas, that white canvas is going to show through when it dries. So I always like to make sure that my edges are prepped. Okay, so I'm using, I think this is a 10 ounce cup. I'm not sure. And I'm going to start with a little bit of silver. Black, got my cloud. here because I'm loving what's going on here. There's just something about this real chunky white here that I'm not loving. Um, so I'm going to take some of my base coat and a damp paper towel and I'm going to swipe through that and see if I can't break that up a little bit.
I think I'm really happy with this. Um, I'm going to bring you in, show you the wet results. And don't forget to stick around for the dry results. And uh, yeah, I think this uh, series of paintings has turned out really, really well. So thanks for joining me. I just wanted to take a second to show you what I have done with all of the drips from the table. I've collected them and I've strained them and they turned out this really beautiful kind of dark charcoal gray. So that is going to be absolutely perfect for the base coat of a future painting. So nothing goes to waste here. Here we are. I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of the dry results. It is a gloomy, snowy day outside, so I'm doing this in my attic, and I hope the lighting is okay. Um, coming in here first. Love this. I love these, the smattering of cells that came up. Totally unexpected. Coming over here. I love this kind of washed out ethereal look that this one got. There we go. And sorry about that transition. Last but not least, I love this lacing in here. I am really, really happy with how all of these turned out. And thank you so much for uh, sharing in the journey and sticking around. Have a great day.